everyone, this is Kate Schwanke. So people who are newer to Jujube may not fully understand what print placement is or how to get the type of print placement you're looking for on a bag. Laura's Little Boutique is one of the few online stores that offers print placement options. In this video, I am going to show you how to navigate Laura's website in order to find your perfect print placement on Jujube items. One of the main print collaborations that Jujube has is with Tokidoki. Tokidoki prints are what most people are picky about on print placement. The reason for that is because there are a lot of different and fun characters, and most people have a specific favorite character that they want front and center on their bags. My favorite character from the Tokidoki prints is Donatella. This is Donatella. She is so cute, I just love her little donut ears. But unfortunately, she is a very popular character and a lot of other people's favorite too. So finding a bag with her front and center can be a bit tricky. There are other prints as well that I look for print placement on, such as Charcoal Roses, a classic GGB print. There are certain prints that don't require print placement options, such as the Legacy GGB line and Hello Kitty. They are fairly repetitive prints, so you just pretty much have to hope for straight print placement is all. So now I'm going to log into Laura's Little Boutique and I'll get started with this tutorial. So just go down here to Google Chrome or whatever web browser that you normally use. Type in Laura's Little Boutique. Mine automatically pops up, lauraslittleboutique.eu, and that's where you're gonna go. And it takes you straight to their main page, their welcome sign, their current things that they have up right now, which are the brand new B sets by GGB, including the beautiful Iconic, which is a Tokidoki print, if you're not familiar with that. So the first thing you want to do when you come to Laura's Little Boutique is come up here and make sure that the currency is correct so that everything is really easy to read. So mine's already in US dollars. Just click that. Make sure your country is correct. I'm in the US, so just scroll right down there. And everything is ready to go ahead and shop. So the first thing I'm going to do is show you guys over here on the left. I'm going to scroll down a little bit. Under here, um, under the About Us area, you're going to scroll down and there is this place right here that's called the latest products added to your choice section. And then there's the your choice. First, I'm going to go to your choice. And that is where you are going to learn all about print placement and how to find your perfect print placement on Laura's. So if you guys want to read that, and then I'm going to actually show you as I shop for myself, um, how I'm going to pick my perfect print placement. So I'm going to also go right here to the latest products added to your choice selection. And this is just their newest stuff that they've added to like variations and things. See right here, 60 new variations of the new B set in Iconic. And they just put those up today. As you can see, today is the 26th of August. And there's pretty much only four sets left <laughs> after all 60. So it, it they went fast. But... As you can see, these are the new things that they've added today. They're actually planning to add a few more things in there. But as you can see, they have added um, Be Quicks and King's Court back on the 17th, and then just all these other wonderful things that you can choose print placement on. So what I'm going to look for first, um, well, I'm gonna go back to Laura's Little Boutique, the main page here, and now I'm gonna go shopping. <laughs> So the first thing I'm going to do is click over here on the left where it says Tokidoki and Jujube because that is what I'm most interested in. And I would love some Perky Toki, but that ran out like the instant it went up. So I'm going to look at, I'm going to look at a little bit of Animalini first because I don't own anything in that yet and I'm kind of curious about it, especially, like I said, my favorite character is Donatella and I would love her in a giraffe on something. That'd be so cute. So, mostly what I'm looking for would be a mini bee or a bee meat. Um, I don't see any mini, mini bees currently. Um, I did hear that there were going to be some more up later though, so I'm probably going to miss that. <laughs> but I want to look at this bee meat. So here is where I want to show you guys um, where the your choice steps in. See, it says your choice. Now you can choose the print placement. Select the bib you want and that is the bee meat, from the pictures on the left, and then select the bib from the list below. If it shows that, this, that it's out of stock, that particular bib has been sold and can't be ordered anymore. So 
As you can see, these here are the ones that are in stock. Whoops. And it shows you what number they are. And then these over here on the left, the, the first picture and the second picture here are stock photos. All these other ones, here I'm gonna have to zoom in a little bit. This here is number 35, as you can see that is available. It is not my particular perfect print placement. Um, and by that, like I said, I mean there is no Donatella. Um, she's actually with that giraffe down there, but she's been cut off. So that is not something that I would like to buy for myself. Let's see what the next one is. This one too, I will show you a better picture. Um, that's what it looks like. That's number 45, also not what I'm after. And you can see this is also not what I'm after. What the heck? I love how quickly you can check on things though. <gasps> Look at this one. Oh, that's perfect. And you may think that this is the back of the bib, but honestly, to me, this is the back because you want the food and stuff to land on this side of the bib because that is the side that is most wipeable and easy to clean. So having her on the very front and center like this is perfect for me. So number 78 is mine. <laughs> All right, number 78, there we go, in stock, awesome. I'll add that to my cart. All right, next, what do I wanna look at? I want to look at, hmm, I do love Iconic. I don't know how many choices I'll be able to have um, for there to be sets. I might look into that a little bit later. As you can see, the mini bee is out of stock. That was in stock earlier. I saw it. Um, let me see here. The hobo bee here. Ooh, there are two hobo bees in stock, and I think they just added those in today. Um, let's look at the very first one. Like I said, um, these first pictures are stock photos. And these ones down here where it shows two bags, that's the very front and that's the back. Um, this one is not my perfect print placement. I don't see any Donatella. Let's look at the next one. <gasps> oh my gosh, she's like, okay, I've got to zoom in on this one. Look, she's up here, she's over here, she's down here. She's even on the back right here and right here. I'm not a big Sandy fan, but because this is the back of the bag, um, it doesn't really bother me. The front is what I care about. So the front has three Donatellas. I might have to buy this one. This one is really cute and I've always wanted an iconic Hobo Bee. So I'm gonna add this one to my cart. And look, she's even in this pocket over here. <laughs> and right here too, because it, the print is actually not that big. Um, so you get a double of a lot of things. Um, so the more Donatella, the better. So I'm going to go ahead and, um, what number is this? Number 32, it says it's in stock. Add it to my cart, I'm so excited. <laughs> All right, so I added that. So I'm going to see what else that I might like. Let's see, <laughs> that was exciting. Ah, oh, let's see, let's see. I know I sound really excited, but I just love shopping, especially finding my perfect print placement. So, hmm. I've been wanting to mini a light. Um, so I'm going to see if there's anything here that I might like. And I may take things out of my cart as time goes by here, but uh, let's see. That one, see Donatella is right in the middle. That would be a good option. And the back has her too, so that's good. The, the thing is, if you're going to mini a light, everything that you want needs to be up about this much space because all the stuff on the bottom would be chopped off. So um, this one, oh, that one's really cute. She's right exactly where we would want her. Oh, and the back too, she's double on the back and that would be shown if I did many this light. So, hmm, what number is this, 25? Okay, let me see what else there is. This is number 36. She's on the bottom there, so that wouldn't work. Yeah, top there, but her ears are cut off. <laughs> and I love her donut ears. So let's see what else we got here. This is the back of this one. That's actually really nice on the back, but the front, she is non-existent, except for the very bottom there. So I'm gonna go ahead and, is this it? Yeah, number 25. It says it's in stock, so that's great. 
So next I want to go ahead and show you guys print placement on a classic Jujube print. Um, like I said, I really like Charcoal Roses and I've been kind of wanting the new style sets that they have available. So I'm going to see what I can find here. So these here are the prints I was talking about that you don't really have to worry too much about print placement. Um, it's, these are just a bunch of polka dots, so you don't have to worry about those being, you know, a certain print placement. On the anchors and stripes and things like that, you're going to worry just a little bit, but not much, because you want to make sure all the anchors are straight on your bag. So if they had, um, I don't know if they do, I haven't checked. Ah, you can pick your print placement on this too. So um, I'm not going to pick one of these up. They're adorable, but I don't need one right now. So this is what Charcoal Roses looks like, and as you can see right here, they have the brand new B sets there. And this is a particular print that people are pretty picky about. Um, we want lots of white roses. There are a few people that really like um, more of a gray background and the dark roses, um, the Charcoal Roses. Um, so I'm going to see about print placement on the large. Um, as you can see in these pictures here, I will click on one of the ones available. Laura's will only take a picture of the large set piece because all of the other pieces are inside the bag and they honestly, they just don't have time to go and take pictures of every single piece because that would take a lot of time. So they only will show you the very, um, the very first bag here. So, um, but that's kind of the most important one anyways. <laughs> Ooh, that one has a lot of white roses. I don't know if the smaller ones are really my type, though. Mm, I'm not a big fan of the big um, black rose, uh, the charcoal rose. I keep calling it black, but... Mm, mm. That one's kind of pretty. Um, number 24. kind of like that one. Ooh, I really, really like that one. That one's really pretty. Number 26 is looking good. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do number 26. And it's in stock. Um, but anyways, I'm really happy with my cart, so I'm going to go ahead and just click down here at Order Products. Okay, perfect. I hope this was a helpful video for anyone who is wanting to learn about print placement or how to choose their print placement online at Laura's Little Boutique. A big thank you to Laura's Little Boutique for setting me up with this awesome opportunity. I love shopping and uh, thanks for watching.